Hello everyone, welcome back to another first look. This week we're looking at Prim, the demo. Um, you can download that for free on Steam <laughs> because it's a demo. Yeah, no, um, a developer reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to play his demo or her demo, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, obviously uh, Prim has been on my eye for quite some time. I've I seen some stuff about Prim on social media. And since we're starting up the whole first look thing again, or started up the whole first look thing again, I thought it was time to dive in Prim today. So let's start a new game. This is all subtitles on. Yeah, very important. And there we go. There's voice acting, apparently. I don't even know how long the demo will be. Dear Diary, they say friends are the family we choose, which by implication means our family is the family we don't choose. If you're wondering why I'm stating something that obvious, wait until you meet my father. That's him. Oh. He is deaf. And I don't mean that like in he's dead serious or he bores me to death. No, he literally is deaf ruler over the underworld reaping the souls of the living after they pass away <laughs> well that alone wouldn't be much of a problem i mean other children have cruel parents as well parents who are tax officers lawyers or even teachers absolutely my problem is for days i've been dreaming of this human boy crying out for me i don't know him but i have the strong feeling that i have to come and help him However, father would never, ever allow me to travel to the land of the living because he's practically afraid of everything I want to do. I'm not to play basketball since I might get a splinter in my finger. I must not go into the forbidden forest because, quote, an unimaginable evil lives there, unquote. And the land of the living, you might guess it, is a no-go as well. Unimaginable evil? <laughs> he is death. He's like the end of everything, the holder of time, so to speak. So wrong. I usually do what father tells me, but not this time. This time I'm going to find a way to escape. The catch, we've just had a big fight and eventually father grounded me and locked me up inside my room. So I have to find a way to get out of here first. Maybe I should start searching by examining the strange box by the window that just happened to pop up out of nowhere. No, oh, that's a good hint. <laughs> How to play. Click left, interact, click right, look at. Open and close inventory by scrolling the mouse wheel and escape is back to menu. Cool. Um, her story about the fight with her father reminds me of Hades. Completely different game, but it's also the protagonist wants to leave the underworld hey she's living in the i don't know death zone the underworld hades probably i mean hades and death are basically similar aren't they no well they're not because one is the leader of the underworld the other one just makes sure that the souls of people get where they they need to be um she said box window i see a window but there's no box I don't see no box. It's closed. You don't say. Blanket. Oh man, I like the art style. It is what it is. It says love. Kind of reminds me of uh what was it? Don't starve? I gave up using blankets to play ghosts years ago. The real dead are so easily offended. Let's just yeah. Blooms, a most likely incomplete encyclopedia of dead and undead flora. Let's just take a look around. I, I just noticed the box there. It's even moving. That's a visual clue. A box? How in Hades name did this get here? Nobody knows. Let's pick it up. Oh, hello. Who are you? An eyeball with what legs? What kind of beastie are you? What shall we call you? I seems like a shy little fellow. Just wait. I'm going to get you. 
Isaac, maybe? I can't reach it. Of course not. Your parents must have crossed a couple of biological and ethical lines. Hmm. What if we... Can we move the armchair? It's exactly what you think it is. An armchair? Hmm. What now? Uh... Your parents must have... I still can't reach it. What do we need then? Let's take a look at the poster. Samuel, Samuel the Red. Oh, Samuel the Red, the best basketball player of all time. I mean, what girl of 13 has not a weak spot for demons in shorts? Me? Then again, I'm not a girl that's 13. My diary. Hello, diary. What else do we have? We got a bookcase, a crack, skeleton arm. When it comes to reaching those pesky itches on my back. And you're a pretty neat partner to practice ghetto handshakes with when working on my street credibility. Makes sense. Let's pick that up, I that think. Might come in handy. Handy. A exactly. Uh but there's also ectoplasm there that I want to look at first. Seems like father brought a souvenir from one of his last reapings. Okay. Very oily. Let's pick it up and take a look at a crack. Huh. A crack in the wall. Leading to father's study. Huh. Interesting. Okay, first of all, let's grab Isaac. With the skeleton arm. I think. I'm yeah. only going to hurt it with the arm. I should concentrate on cutting the cobweb thread. Oh. The arm reaches up to the thread, but I'll need something sharper to cut it. Okay, so what can we use? Swish army scythe? Great idea. The skeleton arm serves as an extension for the scythe. Now, I just need something to use my new invention with. Well, I... Solved it. No. Good idea, but the little guy escapes to the ceiling as soon as I get close. If I could only distract him somehow. All right, so we need to find a distraction for the little fellow. Let's see. Uh, what else is there in the room? We haven't taken a look at the left side. Just look at all these beautiful glowing lights inside the jar. Father gave them to me as a death day present. He says they're called hotspots. Whatever that means. It, it's Wi-Fi. Free Wi-Fi. Maybe. There is some sticky sweet mucus at the bottom. Probably it has been used to attract the fireflies. Ugly duckly. What is this, Paley? Good old Your life! Paley. Father made him for me when I was little. Cool. So, hey, I, 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 let me, if I press escape, will I go back to the menu or? Let's try. Yeah, options. I noticed that, okay, no, never mind, <laughs> that the music is a little bit louder than the voice. Uh, I was about to say, let's let's um, put the music volume down, but no, it's screen brightness and sound volume. Uh, there. No, I didn't want to go to the main menu. Oh, I'm so stupid. I thought it said save and continue. Well, uh, load last game. Yeah, we're here again. Great. Is there anything in the bookcase? Ladder, and then there's stuff there. So let's. Oh, it won't move. Seems like the wheel it is attached to is too rusty. Do we need oil? Do we need? Do we need oil? Uh, ectoplasm was a little bit oily. She said. That should do the trick. Okay, we, let's give this another try. Can we move it now? Whoa, Smooth. That ectoplasm is one hell of a lube. Like a baby's butt. So now we can go up. And, uh... I don't know what the hell we're gonna do here, but... 
There is nothing. So what she did we do? Reach it. She can't reach it. Okay. Well, let's head down. Do we... I'd love to free the glowing thingies, but I can't get the lid off. My palms are too sweaty. I'd go and ask father, but it probably isn't the best time now. Alright, but can we... Let's see if I can open it with the blanket. <laughs> it worked! That was by accident. Fly, little hot spots. Your time in captivity is over. Yes, freedom! Where are you going to? Oh, they don't leave. They want to stay with me, their savior, so we can go on adventures together. No, they're gone. Okay. From now on, you can press space to show item hotspots. Oh, a family portrait. I miss that. What should I do with it? Put it in my wallet? Well, it's much too big for that. That. And. I don't have a wallet. I was about to say, your wallet is probably too short. A That's small. A portrait showing father, me, and my Aunt Karis. Huh. Strange. It was taken years ago, but I haven't grown a bit since. Oh, no. Well, that means something. Crack. It's much too small. For me. But not for Isaac. Father locked it from outside. Obviously. Right, so the only thing that we can still do... Can we use this on Isaac? Hey. People to lure it to come down with this. It doesn't seem to be interested in sticky sweet slime. But where is he interested in? I have no idea what to look up. The eyeball! Death Blooms, a most likely incomplete encyclopedia of dead and undead flora. Right, so let's go up the ladder again. Maybe some new hotspots will open up. But no, it doesn't. Ooh, I what is that? I can't reach it. Yeah, because I'm up here. Let's go down. I missed that there. What is it? Vampire X? Father says, in contrast to common belief, only Vampire X can keep vampires away. Whereas garlic only drives off the people you love. Have you ever heard of garlic bread? On the tag, it says, warning, may irritate the eyes. Oh, uh, the eyes. The eyes. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't. I don't see a re... I... Okay. Use it on Isaac. As soon as I get close, it flees to the ceiling. Maybe I can find a position where he won't see me coming. Well, yeah, obviously, that's the armchair. Let's try again. I hope this doesn't hurt too bad. Oh, no. Oh, but now it doesn't see... Oh. Oops, doesn't see a thing, and we can cut him loose. Chop. Oh. Yes. I don't like him though because he looks like a spider. Betty's here. Betty's kind of going to the hey. track. Hey. Where are you going? <sighs> and it's gone again. No, it's in the closet. Creature and bookshelf. Yeah. Don't walk Your off. Parents must have crossed a couple of biological and ethical lines. <laughs> Why do I have the feeling that it's making fun of me? Because it is. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, Until okay. Try to grab it, it flees to another position inside the shell. Yeah, so maybe I can set a trap. Absolutely. That was that, that, that's exactly what I was thinking. So if you put the maybe if I place this in here, my spidery friend will get stuck in the sweet mucus at the bottom. That should work. Right? Let's he 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 him into the jar. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Yeah, now you're stuck. Now you're stuck. Stop ticking. Let's put the lid back. Gotcha. <laughs> I won. Aw, don't cry. Let me suggest something. If I let you out of that jar, will you be a good demon creature and stay in my pocket? Okay, I trust you. Don't make me regret it. Wait, is he is he in our pocket now? Yeah, spider eye, spider eye, spider eye, does whatever a spider does. Okay, little friend. Can he crawl? A mission for you. Through the crack. Can you squeeze through that crack into my father's study and get me the keys to my door. Oh, good. <laughs> You're so cute. Good luck. Yes, he can. I should keep an eye on this eye. Eye for an eye. Are we controlling the eye now? We are controlling the eye now. My goodness. I don't know where we're heading to, though. Hey, where are you going? Don't forget, you should bring me the keys to my room. Don't leave me hanging. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? Where is our key? Wait. If we distract him, turn off the radio. Oh, yeah. Or... Oh, what is he doing? <laughs> Strange herbs? Do we have our, we have our own inventory? Can we do something? Uh-uh. Yeah, no, that doesn't seem like a smart idea. What else do we have? Radio and crack. I have n he had a door, but I don't want to go to the door. We can go back to the crack, but I'm not sure if that will help us. Thanks, little friend. So, how do I find out what kind of plant you are? Well, there's this book that has been laying there for the entire time. Ooh, let's see if I can find my two planty friends in here. What's a the magical identification key? Oh. Well, that's what I call a coincidence. What does that mean? Uh. It's black. Tubular, jagged. Oh, this is it. This looks exactly like the plant from Father's study. Acheron Swamp Trumpet. Famous for amplifying the subject's perception of music and therefore used as a party drug by the river spirits. I like this. Uh, white, jagged. Straight thorns. And here goes the second one. White Widow, also known as Hypno's Finest. Known for its narcotic effect, which is, unfortunately, so weak that it only kicks in when the subject is already very tired. <sighs> Perfect. So what have we learned? <laughs> what can we do with that? I have no idea. I have no idea. 
what can we do? Poster, crack, door? Yeah, and Paley. Can we use it on Paley? Mm, nope. Nope. We can't. So I think we have to go back. Spider eye, spider eye. Yeah, it already applies funky music. Do we still have... You don't want to? Let's tune the radio again. Smooth jazz. Uh, whoops. We can do stuff in the pipe. We can do stuff in the pipe. We can do stuff in the pipe. Come on. Let's do that in the pipe. See if that works. But don't Whoop. overdose him. Put in just enough for one drag. Okay. Yeah, but now we need to <laughs> flip it again to the funky music. Because then he will start smoking. Oh no, he, he is smoking. Nothing happens. Maybe it doesn't work with every kind of music? I know. Oh, oh really? We first have to set it to jazz? Uh, funk. There, and now twist that knob. Do it again. Oh, great. That's a good thing that they don't have to uh, let us watch the entire thing again. This is amazing. But don't overdose him. Put in just enough for one drag. Yeah, one drag can be enough. I wonder if this works with the funky, funky, funky. And again, the, yeah, good. That is amazing! Look at him go! He should be tired now, though. That was... unexpected. <laughs> yeah. And now we keep it at smooth jazz. Keep him all relaxed and whatnot. And put in the white flower. To make him fall asleep. There we go. Let's see if this works. If this is actually the right but combination. Don't overdose him. Put in just enough for one drag. It's weird though because he had the herbs in his cupboard all this time. So, will you fall asleep now? Sweet dreams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. So. The key, the key is over there. Yeah, that's so cool. So we got the keys. Let's go back through the crack. Open up the door. If we can open it up from the inside, that is. Finally, the key to my door. Let's get out of here. Okay. There we go. What are you doing? You can't. What the hell? Just great. What? Whoa. That feels weird. That's Wait, a little bit disturbing. What's happening. Everything around me seems to be. Dissolving. I think 
they don't feel so good. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jonas. Hey, Jonas. I'm Germany, and I make adventure games. Oh, this. Is... Let's give this another try. Yeah, this At is the cool. Moment, I'm working on Prim, a drop-dead, charming, creepy but cute point-and-click adventure game. Whoa. Too long for you? No problem. Let me put it this way. Imagine Monkey Island, but. Tim Burton made the art, and Terry Pratchett wrote the story, inspired by Greek mythology. That sums it up. basically what it feels like to play Prim. Oh, and it's in black and white. That sums it up so perfectly. You play as Prim, Death's daughter, who receives a call for help from a human boy. Unfortunately, her father would never allow her to travel to the land of the living. So Prim tricks her dad, but when she finally reaches Earth, it turns out to be just as dangerous as her father told her it would be. What kind of beastie are you? At its core, Prim is a pretty traditional point-and-click adventure game, but with modern perks such as HD graphics, a one-click interface and an optional hotspot display. And hey, we got a cute little spider eye that is Prim's sidekick. Just great. <laughs> you thought of everything. You can already play our demo, which is, by the way, fully voiced in English. I'm not a baby. I'm much too old for rocking horses. And German. When du mich fragst, klingen alle diese Sprachen, als wären sie komplett ausgedacht. The final game will have a playtime of about six to eight hours. We're confident that we'll be able to release it in 2022. That all sounds pretty ambitious, right? Yes! Well, here's where you guys come in. My team and I, we need your help to make Prim look, move, and sound. I can't let it climb out of the window. It's much too high. As good as possible. Well, I'm already impressed. You get something in return. Apart from the game itself, the Becker rewards include a digital art book and the game soundtrack. And we also have some pretty cool physical rewards, like <gasps> our cute little prim doll. Why do I have the feeling that it's making fun of me? Or the big box version of the game that comes in a handmade wooden coffin. So, why are you still watching this video? Let's make this game happen together. Okay, I trust you. Don't make me regret it. That is so cool! And so smart to implement your trailer into the demo! <laughs> that is so good! I am so glad that I decided to actually push through because at the 20-minute mark, I was like, hey, maybe we should cut it short, but I got the feeling that we were nearing the ending. We were! If I stopped right there, we would have skipped the trailer, and I would feel so bad. Yeah, premise in development. You know what? There's a couple of things that you need to do. First, click the like button. Second, subscribe if you haven't already. Third, go to the Steam page, wishlist the game, and there's probably a link to their Kickstarter or something. Uh, back them up. Back up Prim. Yeah, that's all you can do. Uh, or buy the game when it's released next year <laughs> whatever flows your boat but yeah anyway thank you for watching and um if you want to discuss this game with me or my buddies or just hang out that's possible you can contact me on twitter or on our discord server links in the description and uh yeah everybody's invited even you jonas there's a couple of more developers there so yeah no thanks again for sticking through and uh, I will see you next week for another first look.